Okay, there's probably a few ways to um, go about solving this problem, but I will do it in the way that um, seems most obvious to me. And I think that will also be easier for most novices. So for a child approaching this and no comments about how childish I might be. Thank you very much. Okay. Josephine had thrice as much orange juice as apple juice. I only ever see the word thrice, by the way, in um, Singapore maths bar model questions, but there we go. So it's... Um, Interesting to see it. So Josephine had thrice or three times as much orange juice as apple juice. After she poured out 1.08 litres of apple juice, she had five times as much orange juice. OK, so and the question we're asked is how much apple juice did Josephine have at first? So I am going to draw bars for orange juice and apple juice. And said at the beginning, we have three times as much orange juice as apple juice. So we'll start off with orange juice. Um, I might bring my. All right, let's have a look. Sorry, I was trying to get my pen over, but it won't play. So orange juice. Let's see. So we've got three times as much orange juice as apple juice. So what I am going to do, I think, is I'm going to preempt something here. One, two, three, four, five. OK. Just to make it easier. OK, so this is my orange juice. And if that's my orange juice, then this is going to have to be my apple juice. My apple juice is going to be one third of the bar, the size bar. OK, so we now have represented this situation here. Josephine had three times as much orange juice as apple juice. OK, after she poured out 1.08 litres of apple juice, she had five times as much orange juice. Now, the orange juice is going to stay the same. That doesn't change. But we're going to pour away enough of this apple juice that this bar is then five times this bar. And you'll see why I chose to use the um, the guidelines here to make my bars five long, because the way that I can do that, I can see that we've got, we're basically dealing in um, thirds and fifths. So how I'm going to deal with that is to subdivide everything. So, okay, so if I divide all of this So I'm dividing each of these bars into fifths. There we go. All right. And now I can think, right, what is this going to be five times as big as? So how many of these do we have? Well, we have um, one, two, three, four, five times three, which is 15. So what times 5 is 15? Well, 3 times 5 is 15, which means that we must have got rid of two of these. OK, so and let's prove that. Let's just check that. So we've got so this is now how much apple juice we have in the end situation. So let's just do that. One, two three, four, five. So we've satisfied that situation. So we're, we are, um, we're happy that we got that right. So this must be what the amount of apple juice that was poured away. And we know that is equal to 1.08. Okay. That means that we can work out the value of each of these. So we have 1.08. 8, if we divide that by 2, we get 0 
Okay, so we now know the value of each of these. So this is 0 0.54 as is every other block here. And then we have to think what actually is the question that we're being asked, which I should have underlined at the beginning. How much apple juice did Josephine have at first? Well, at first, and I guess I should have labeled it. So that's how much at first, okay, at first, that's what um, Josephine had. She had five of these blocks, which we now know to represent 0 0.54. Well, 0 0.54 multiplied by 5 gives us 2.7 litres. So that's how much apple juice Josephine had at first. I hope that helps and thanks for watching.